hello guys welcome to my channel ankit tech buddy in today's video i am going to explain you how to interface adc or how to interface any analog sensor to your microcontroller lpc2148 so let us start first of all like if you just talk about what is a adc adc stands for analog to digital converter sometime we say like uh, in microcontroller it is having a uh, 8 bit adc it is having a uh, adc of the eight channels and its resolution is of 8 bit so what does it mean so let us take an example like uh, we are having a adc uh, we, uh, where we can give a input from 0 to 5 volt and its re resolution is the 8 bit that means any of the input voltage it will be having in range of 0 to 5 volt it will convert that voltage into a 8 bit digital number so in case of 8 bit digital number we are having a maximum value is 256 so that means for 0 volt it will going to print in digital 0 and for the 5 volt it will going to represent it as a 255 so that means our voltage our 5 volt is divided into 256 steps that means uh, every step corresponds to 19 millivolt so what does it mean it is uh, you can say the least count of you uh, you can say least count of the adc also like this is the minimum voltage that we can measure from uh, adc which is having a resolution of the 8 bit and its input voltage range is from 0 to 5 volt so if we talk about the arm 7 lpc 2148 in arm 7 there are two adcs and both adcs are of 10 bit resolution resolution is greater that means we can measure the voltage with more accuracy okay and adc has a uh, in total there are 14 channels on the lpc2148 in which adc0 is having six channels and adc1 is having eight channels and it uh, it just simply requires 0 to 3.3 volt at the input so what will be uh, will be its step size here you can see i am just dividing 3 by 1024 1024 why because it is having a 10 bit resolution so 2 raised to power the 10 is the 1024 and this is the step value or step count 2.93 millivolt that means it can measure minimum voltage change of 2.93 millivolt so any sensors which are uh, which is uh, which can give you a voltage in range of 0 to 3.3 volt you can directly connect to this adc after that if we talk about the pins on the arm, arm 7 lpc2148 here you can see there are uh, pins available on port 0 is 28 29 and corresponding pin select register is there in which we have to give value 0 and 1 to the 24 and 25 pin of the pin cell register to in order to select the port 028 as a adc so these are the functions available on the pin number port 028 so adc is in second number so you have to pass 0 and a 1 value to select adc 1 or if you have to select adc 7 in that case you have to pass pin number 10 and 11 Zero one, like one one, because here you can see the ADC seven is at the fourth position. So this value will be zero one correspond to this one, zero zero correspond to this one, zero one corresponds to this one, one zero and one one. So these these all are the pins available with the ARM seven. Now we just talk about the registers available in ARM seven. The first register is the analog to digital converter uh, control register adc control register this register is generally used to select like what operating mode we have we are using and what uh, what will be the conversion time and all those thing will be inside this registers after that there is a register called adgdr that is the uh, global data register that is uh, that will contain the result of the adc value like uh, whatever will be the conversion converted value of the voltage that will be coming inside this resistors and we can retrieve that value from this resistor and 
after all in this register also contain a done bit when the conversion is completed there is a bit over there uh, in this register which we can monitor that the uh, analog to digital conversion has been completed after that there is a ad stat register this gives the status of the analog to digital uh, conversion like uh, when it is getting converted and uh, where the whether the interrupt flags are enabled or not then there is the adgsr global start register actually this register is used in case we have to enable both the adcs like adc0 and adc1 if both we have to enable in that case uh, we used uh, this register after that there is a register called ad interrupt enable and this is the register uh, where we can set the interrupt for the analog to digital uh, conversion when it is getting completed we can enable those interrupts inside this registers and there are ADDR these registers also uh, contains the value uh, like uh, data of the converted channels inside these registers is available like it, it is ranging from ADDR 0 to ADDR 0 7 so for every channel there is a one registers where the data can be retrieved so let us go to the program like how it is working this is the main code here here you can see I have made I have taken a uh, channel number 7 of the ADC and I have uh, it is available on the port 0 pin number 5 and we are making that pin as a input after that in the main function we are selecting the function of the pin number uh, uh, pin number 28 as a, you can see as a ADC input pin and then we are setting the uh, direction of the analog pin to input then in, I am using a LCD to display the values of the uh, sensor and here I am printing uh, some like ADC test and initializing the ADC and I am passing some value to the this function I will just uh, tell you this function in uh, few minutes after that I am just reading this value over here in the in, in this value variable and I am simply printing this variable on the LCD so this is the library that I am using and this is, there are the functions defined over here here you can see this is the pin control register uh, this is a uh, yes power on the uh, whatever the power just we are setting inside the register that is defined inside this pin after that there is a function called read adc0 in this function what we are doing first of all we are simply making to adc uh, to stop the adc after that we are sending the values or uh, values to the you can say this is the this one is the control register and we are sending the channel number to this register then we are making ADC start bit this bit is defined over here this bit is designed like 24 bit that is used to define like whether we have to start the ADC or uh, to stop the ADC and here I am starting the ADC then I have just told you like there is a done bit inside this register that is the <coughs> global data registers and we are monitoring this pin to get high and when this pin like when the conversion is completed we are disabling the ADC after that we are retrieving that data inside this variable and we are shifting this value by 6 because the data on this register is available from the 6th of the bit because this is a 32 bit register and data is available from the 6th of the bit so that's why we, have, we need to shift it by 6 and we are returning this value to from this function so let us see in the Proteus how it is working here you can see I have just taken a LCD and I have connected my uh, you can this is the LDR sensor and here is the torch for the LDR and I have connected to the uh, to the ADC 7 if I will simply increase The voltage uh, you can see light over this uh, LDR you can see its voltage is getting increase 
this is only for the test purpose so that you can test whether your code is working or not so this is all for today thank you